How newcomers can board as well as things get on this season will be very interesting following this fairly even contest. But it was last season's runners-up who edged it, guided by the boot of Jacob Perry. Value for money on opening weekend might have been at Hair Lane, as Chester and Exeter University put on a show. But it was the visitors who turned things around in the second half, thanks to four unanswered tries. Two third place finishes on the balance suggest Clifton could have a tilt at the title again. And they open their account with a hard-fought win over Newport Salop. Watch out for the celebration from Clifton's Albert Stretch. Picking up from where they left off last year were Octonians and the prolific Ben Link, as the hooker grabbed a hatchet for the side that finished fourth last term against newly promoted Dudley Kings Winford. Every player loves to score on the opening day, but how about Hinkley's Dale Bowyer? The hooker sniffed out the try line of five occasions in Saturday's win over Bourneville and a slick display from Chris Campbell's boys. 32 of their 46 points last season came at the nest for Hornets, and it was a winning start on their own patch again after coming out on top in this 12 try filler against Loughborough students. Following an injury hit term last year, perhaps better things are to come for Redroof as they began this season by displaying a lot of character as they came from behind to defeat all Redcliffians. Four of the top five sides from last season all started off with a victory in round one, while there were excellent wins for both Exeter and Hornets on the opening weekend of National 2 West.